This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing the new features in Apple Compressor and Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to reduce the file size of an animated image sequence. We do this without losing any video quality by using indexed color and Apple Compressor. One of the new settings that we have inside Compressor is the ability to create indexed color PNGs. What that means is rather than representing all, all the colors in a photograph, it selects the most popular four or eight or 16, whatever you want. The benefit is the file size gets smaller. Now this is a very special use case, but it really serves a useful purpose. Let me show you how this works. First, this only applies when you create a new compression setting that's designed for image sequences. Image sequences are used in animation and in VFX work where each individual frame inside the video is a separate image. So you can be rendering one frame while working on another without having to wait for the entire movie to be done before you can render it. So we're going to create a PNG image sequence. That's what it's called. We're going to drag it on board here. And now we've got the PNG image sequence. Let's go up to the general tab. And in the general tab, notice that it says the image type is a TIFF. We don't want that. We want PNG. When we set this to PNG, we now have a color palette that allows us to determine how many colors we want to use for our image. And I'm going to say eight. We can have it apply to each individual frame separately. I want it to apply to all frames globally. And we can choose between no color dithering or these two color dithering presets. Personally, I don't see much of a difference between these two. There may be, and I just am not aware of it. But for today, I'm going to set it to none. At this point, we're going to click Start Batch. The observant among you are going to say, Larry, that's exactly a single picture. And you're absolutely correct. It's a single frame because the color indexing applies on a frame by frame basis for a, an image sequence, which means that I only have to show you one frame to explain how this works. Let's go back to our compressed files folder, twirl down the image sequence called berries and take a, oh, that's pretty awful. In fact, it's downright ugly. And the reason is, it only has four colors. Dark brown, light brown, dark yellow, bright yellow. Hmm. Suboptimal. Well, that's because color indexing is not used for photographs. Color indexing is used for graphics and animation. Let me illustrate. Here, let's get rid of the berries and drag in something much more appropriate, a dragon logo. As we take a look here, there's exactly, well, let's see, we've got blue, color one, and dragon, color two, cyan, color three, orange for the dragon, color four, oh yeah, and black, color five. Because I have so few colors, I don't need to devote the entire PNG to representing colors that don't exist in this graphic, I can narrow the colors down, which reduces the file size. Let me show you. Let's apply our PNG image sequence, select the compression setting, change this to PNG. We're going to index it to four colors, make it global, because that applies to all the images equally, as opposed to treating each indiv individual frame uniquely. So the colors of frame one may not match the colors of frame two, which is what you generally don't want. You want them all to match. And we'll hide this. And we'll hide this. And now we'll say, start the batch. And it's done. So let's go down to the dragon. Notice our our dragon is 53k in size. I'll show you the master in a second. And look how beautiful this is. I've got the blue and the cyan and the orange and the yellow, except the black disappeared. And that's because the black is the fifth color. It only processes four. Any other color is ignored. But notice how much better this graphic looks than the photograph of the berries. All right, let's try this again. Let's get rid of those, delete them. 
We'll select our compression setting because it's the compression setting that controls this. Set the color palette to eight, which gives us eight unique colors. Click Start Batch. And it's done. And we'll go here and look at that. We now have cyan and blue and orange and yellow and black, all the colors in our original image. And notice the image is 79K in size. What's the original? The original is 500K. Now remember, PNG is uncompressed. I haven't compressed this into something tiny. It's still an uncompressed image just using indexed color. So I took the original, which is 500K per frame, index the color, and it's 79K per frame. I've reduced it by 85%, yet still left it uncompressed. So I'm not getting any compression artifacting. It's going to look really nice. And when I go and compress it, it becomes vanishingly tiny. Think of the benefit this provides if you're providing videos to the web. These things will load instantly, say on Twitter or, or LinkedIn, where you want to have them play immediately. They'll load instantly. They're tiny in size. This is a cool feature. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing the new features in Apple Compressor and Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 318. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.